Hey guys, this is Manak and you're watching Civil Bro. So this is the eighth lecture on building design using ETAPS. So in this part of how to uh, interpret the analysis results, we are seeing today how to find out the bending moment and shear force diagram. So if you haven't watched the earlier part, you can go to the playlist link, which I've, I have given in the description. And after that, you can see all the videos step by step. Okay, so uh, now, what we are going to do is we are going to hover over any window let's see the elevation view and then you have this particular uh you know icon here they said display frame and peer spindle link forces or click on f8 simply so here you can see the you know major and minor moments for any force so here we have to understand the terminology of ETAPS, which one is major force which one is minor force so for that i'll just show you the very brief diagram before going i'll tell you that shear 22 is the major force here and moment you know 33 is the major moment here so i'll explain it with the help of this diagram as you can see this is the plane or uh, the axis one this is the axis two this particular force p is the axial force and this torque as you can see this is the torque or the axial torque this is acting along the axis so it is the axial torque and now v2 is the is the shear force in the one two plane so this is the one this is the two so what uh you know v2 is doing is v2 is here it is the shear force in the one two plane so this is the major shear force and v3 is acting along you know the uh you know minor axis so you can ignore that because its value will always be less so uh you know t we already have discussed m2 is the moment along the minor axis which is this you can ignore this in ETAPS. m3 is the major bending moment so mainly we're concerned with the major bending moment m3 and on the principal shear force that is which is v2 so in this ETAPS, where we will be seeing the m22 let's uh, just uh, click on apply and if you want to show the values you just click on this values here show the values in the diagram so you will see here click on apply you can see the values also here moment 22 and this moment 33 this will be the major moment here which you are going to see so moment three three, as you can see, this is due to the dead load. So now similarly, you can click on the 3D view as well. Let's just click on apply. You can see all the moments here. So now this is the moment for the dead load. As you can see, the uh, you know moment as far as the dead load is concerned is a little bit more on the higher side in the plinth level. Okay. So let's see the you know effect due to the live load. We'll just click on apply and we'll see the effect so let's see the effect here so you can notice the value so that this particular value is zero uh, you know 6.9 so we'll notice what is the effect for the live load so just click on apply so as you can see the effect due to the live load is less and now we'll see the effect due to the some other loads let's see the seismic load and click on apply you can see this is the effect due to the seismic load and this is let's say seismic load in y plus direction this is the effect of the seismic load in the y plus direction and also if we see the wind load effect we can also see it here so this is the moment and let's see the shear force the major shear force we'll see here so this is the shear force due to the wind load and let's see the dead load here first so this is the shear force due to the dead load and if you go here live and click on apply so you can see this is the shear force due to the live load uh, let's see the, you know the shear force due to live load in this particular 3d view as well let's click on apply so next if you want to see the effect of the wind load or the seismic load you see it here and let's also see this in the elevation view so these are the values here at any point if you want to just find out suppose let me go back to the dead load and you can apply at any point if you want to just check just right click on this and you can check in more detail as you can see this is the dead load the fit to the live load so here you can check uh, in detail by simply right clicking on the particular beam so like this, you can check the bending moment and shear force. And if you want to see the axial force, 
just click on the axial force and click on apply so here you can find out the axial force as well and if you want to see the torsion torsion will be seen like this so like this you can see the analysis results to get an idea of how the loads are acting on the particular structure so guys these are some options by which you can interpret the analysis results uh, in the next part of this particular lecture we'll show you how to find out the foundation reactions that is the axial force as well as the moment so that you can design foundation manually or by using any software with the help of these results so you can take a break and come back in the next lecture and if you are watching this series and learning drop a like or a heart in the comment section thanks bye bye